Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rumen. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Currently, we are in Lord Jabu Jabu's Valley, and this dungeon is very cool for quite a few reasons. This this dungeon really makes you feel smart. It really makes you feel smart because you have to like look at the maps to determine like what layers what what layers to jump down to and stuff. It's it really makes you feel smart, and I, and I always like it when games make me feel like I'm smart. I always appreciate it. Oh yeah, I can't, we can't deal with those guys yet. Yes, there's a funny thing in this dungeon that fucking got me stuck for like a long time. That's not until later though. You, who are you? I'm Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saving my- are you, are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I never ask anyone to do such a thing. Let her in a bottle, I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me? I don't care. Anyway, I, I can't go home right now, and you get out of here, understand? I always thought that was so weird, how she doesn't know about the letter. Like... I, I could never tell if she was lying about that or if, if she really didn't understand like what the letter was. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was, but that's none of your business anyway. You go home now, understand? Did Ganondorf do this? Did he manipulate the insides of Lord Jabu Jabu to be this way so he can get the spiritual stone? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm being genuine. Yeah, I want to go over here. Yes, yeah, so we have to carry her around. You can pop bubbles, which is pretty neat. There we go. Okay. Come over here, Rudo. Gotta grab you. This dungeon in Master Quest is also very cool because it's like you, like you gotta like shoot like a bunch of cows, and I think the implication that Lord Jabu Jabu is eating a bunch of cows is pretty funny. Oh my gosh, these things these things are so annoying. You gotta like wait five seconds between each shot so your shots actually hit. Like, ah, just let me, just let me rapidly shoot, you know what I mean? Ah. I wanna get this gold Skulltola. Like, in the Master Quest version of this dungeon, that switch down there might've been like a cow or something. Pretty cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is one of those moments where I shall test myself. Oh my gosh. I want to see if I can make this jump. Okay, come on. Ah! No, okay. You cannot grab onto that from here. Did you hear that sound effect that the wall made when I hit it? That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, fairy in a bottle. Wrong button. Wrong button again. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta excuse me, guys. This is not how you're originally supposed to play this game. So I had to like, I, I, I had to like map the the things on the touch screen down there to the controller. And yeah, I might press the wrong button every once in a while. You know what? Let's not even bother with these bubbles. You don't even have to press the. You don't even have to fight these bubbles. You don't have to do it. Oh my gosh. Eh. Can I throw you up there? Yes, I can. See, like in the Master Quest version, that would have been a cow. That that would be a cow. I'm being serious. I'm not lying about that. You stay there, Rudo. Okay, go over here. 
Honestly, I don't remember exactly what to do in this dungeon. I mean, I remember like it's like I like I remember the dungeon, but I'll make it stuck. Uh. Oh my gosh. There. I don't know what I did there. I surrender in return. I'll slow you Deku Nuts 5. Oh my gosh. Anything else here? No. All right. What's the point of this? I know I ever need Deku Nuts for anything. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I actually want to get Deku Nuts out. Okay. This is bothering me. Okay. I want to put this over here. There's a way that I like to organize my stuff in this game. Okay, swim over here. Rapidly mash that B button to swim faster. Ow! And then grab Ruto. There we go. Nero! Wait for the platform to come down. My gosh, there's so much goddamn waiting in this freaking game. This game blows. There's so much waiting in this game. Hell yeah. Okay. Just gotta wait. You have to do it. You have to do it. There are no ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. You really do just have to wait. You know what I mean? You can't not wait. It is programmed into the game to wait, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Nothing in there. Like, listen to this. I wonder if that was a sound effect that was created for this game. Oh my gosh, throw the freaking bomb. Oh, Jesus. I do that all the time, but I, I accidentally just lay bombs down when I mean to throw them like a lot. Like I'll be like throw and then I'll be like. But we can't all be epic pog champers. Wait, I gotta stop using that. I forgot. Uh, Can I kill you with Rudo? That's the way to go about it. All right. I'm pretty sure you want to go over here, right? And then over here. Look at this. This is a cool looking area right here. That's very neat. Isn't that neat? That's pretty neat. Okay. I guess got to lay Rudo down. Making me feel like a smart person. I not not right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be a real man. Okay. Uh, where do I go? I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now. No. Yes, maybe, probably. Yes, Navi, I know. This room, okay. All right, fuck it. I tried to do that thing where like you lay a bomb in a specific spot and then it kills all three of them. I saw that somewhere once. There we go. DQ nuts, you have to use them. They're so good. They put them in a game for a reason. They wouldn't put the DQ nuts in the game. They didn't want you to use them. Look at that. Looks like a creepy, scary face. Ah! Boomerang. Right? A purple rupee. Awesome. Okay. Now we can finally do that thing we wanted to do. do. Wanted to do. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay, Rudo? Okay. Um. So that can go. Oh my gosh, that can go there. Okay. Ah! I'm always pressing the wrong buttons. Oh Jesus! Stop it! Ah. Okay, fuck it. She's stuck there. Yeah, I can't throw my boomerang at that. That's just that. That's just stuck like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Luckily, Rudo's just right over here, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. She'll, she'll like come back here when she goes missing, or when you can't get her back. She just teleports back to this spot every time with her magical, goddamn teleportation abilities. Oh. Oh. Yes, don't mind me. I'm not doing anything suspicious. And Rudo, you can stay here unguarded. Because I gotta do big boy stuff. That's cool. That's freaking cool. I like that thingy. There are just so many cool little things in this dungeon. It's very memorable. And there's the map. That's right, you get the map after you get the boomerang. Because the game is telling you that these dungeons are getting trickier and you can't always rely on the map. In fact, the next dungeon, in my opinion, is probably like one of the most confusing dungeons in the game. That's uh, the Forest Temple. Forest Temple is like... I get lost every time, you know what I mean? There we go. That's a very easy room. But it's like fun. Because it's like a kill all the bubbles free for all room. You know what I mean? It'd be fun to just have like a room with like a with like a hundred bubbles in it just to pop all the bubbles. That that'd be fun. Here's the compass. You don't even need to come in this room. Yes, don't mind me. All right. Okay, this one's gone. All right, okay. Up. The boomerang controls so much better in the remake of this game than it does in the original. Like, in this version, you can, like, call it back, like, right away. You have no idea how convenient that is. In, in, in the original version, you had to, like, wait for it to do its entire spin around before you could, like, do anything else. And it really, like, halted the pace. Like, it, it, it was a small thing, but, but, like, it was noticeable. I remember thinking that even... Even before I played this version. I, I I remember thinking it'd be cool if you could like, you know, just call the boomerang back right away. Just kill that one. Kill that one. There we go. Ow. Oh, that lunged me in the opposite direction. Up oh, so close. Okay. And now, we want to go back to the center room. Oh. That's how you get rid of them. Okay. Gotta use the boomerang. Everything's about the boomerang in this dungeon. Everything. Okay, lay you down. Alright. Oh, that was close. Come on. There we go. And we can be on our way now. Mini boss. This one's hard. This is a tricky, tricky mini boss. Oh, boy. This part's pretty funny. 
Rudo got it. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jebu Jebu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. That is contrary to what you said before. But now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home right now. Why is everybody so patronizing to me in this goddamn game? An octopus? That was always funny to me because it, it, it's like, I, I, I find it interesting how like a real world animal as specific as an octopus be referenced in a Legend of Zelda game. Like imagine if you're playing a Zelda game and then suddenly s someone mentions like a giraffe or something. It would be like, that's kind of weird. All right. And then it's gonna turn around. Oh wait, you can just ah come back. No, nope, it's gonna bump into me. Okay. Okay. Can I lock onto you? Yes, I can. This gives me time, right? I don't know. This boss fight, like, I never quite understood the like intended strat. I just kind of chase it until I get lucky. Go, Link, go! Ow. Like, I gotta get up, Link. Invisible wall blocking my way. There we go. Okay. Easy boss fight. Little baby game for kids. Whoa, so many hearts. And anything in this room? No. Look, look at that above us. Look at that. Isn't that neat? That's pretty neat. Let's put that back. There we go. Thank you nuts. You always want those in this game. Because there is so much goddamn waiting in this game, unless you have Biku nuts. And that's always nice. But how did I not make that jump? Alright, whatever. Ah! Stop it, Boomerang! Stop! Stop! Ah! There you go. It's like, okay, here's what's happening. I need to explain my bizarre movements. Every time this octopus thingy lunges back into the water, it my my my, my lock on locks onto something random, and then I throw the boomerang. Ah. And I always throw the boomerang as soon as that creature goes back into the water. Go, 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 go. Just ignore this room. I was like, oh, I'm locked onto it. And then I would throw the boomerang. And then, uh, okay, this is what got me stuck. This is what prevented me from even beating this game as a kid. I did not know what to do here. Like, I would get to this area and I would be like, there's like nothing I can do. And then I would like look everywhere in this dungeon for anything, any clues of something, but then nothing would happen. And and, and I just, it, it, it eventually got to a point where I, where I just had to stop playing because, because it just couldn't continue. But guess what? You have to jump on this platform. That's what you have to do. You, you, you need to jump on that platform. That's it. Man. That's not the only thing that got me stuck as a kid either. I, I remember back in the Great Deku Tree, where you gotta climb all the way to the top and then jump down to get through the web. I remember I would like, and this is true, I would like get all the way to the top and then I would jump all the way down to that web, but the web would never ever break. It would like never break. And I'd be like, why is it not breaking? And I'd be like, I guess I'm just doing something wrong. And then one time when I was like randomly playing the game after so many attempts, I just jumped and, it, and then it worked. And then, and then like it, it continued to work like every time since then. And I'm like, what was I doing wrong? Even though I swear I was doing anything wrong. And another thing that got me stuck was uh, the the bomb flowers in the Dogno's Cavern. 
We gotta like bomb all those bomb flowers to make those stairs fall down. I remember I would like bomb in the right spot. I would throw the bomb flower in the correct spot, but like I just couldn't trigger the reaction to get those stairs to fall. But then one time it just randomly worked, and then it, and then it, and then, and then it has worked ever since. And I'm like, and this game just, this this game just doesn't like me. All right, anyway, that's that's what got me stuck when I was a kid. Oh wait, we gotta get these boxes. Oh man. Yes, so... Over here... These boxes should respawn. Yes, okay. I kind of want to see if we can kill those things. Those uh, jellyfish with the with, with, with the box. I, I kind of want to check it out. This is like one of the easier gold scotolas in the game because it's like directly on your path. All right, that's cool. Making me feel smart without me having actually, without me having to be smart. That's from Mike Stout, uh, Ratchet and Clank developer. <laughs> He says that you, you, you don't want to make players be smart. You want to make them feel smart. <laughs> and, I, and I like that mentality, honestly. It's patronizing in the best way possible. Also, this is like one of the best boss fights in the game. This, this is such a great boss fight. Baronade! Ah, come back. Okay. And then... Ow. Okay. Gotta hit it in the middle. Ah! Yes! Yes! Ow. This part's always tricky, because you have to, like, hit it while these things are spinning around it. There we go. Okay. Ow. No, kill that one. Okay, thank you. So, jump slash, two regular slashes, jump slash. Nope. Okay. I think the fastest way to deal damage as Young Link in this game is to jump slash and then do two regular slashes and then jump slash and do two regular slashes. You can actually speed this up, this part, by just bump, by just taking a hit because it stops doing it. It gets up from the ground so you can hit it again when you when you, when, when, when you take damage. Or you can just wait it out to avoid damage. There we go. That's a cool boss fight. That one's cool. That's just a cool dungeon in general. Where's the heart piece? Oh. And let me refill on stuff. Oh, are these just gonna be rupees? Ah, oh, these are just gonna be rupees. There we go. Okay. I didn't get anything for that. Just got a bunch of rupees. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. <laughs> I could be like a meme or something.
What's that be all excited about? You, you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish to tell me? I want the spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora's sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zoran engagement ring. All right, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora's sapphire. You gotta do a ritualistic dance first or something? Like, what is this? I got a rock. Remember, if you ever feel like you're not unique or special in any way, or you're unremarkable, just remember that all diamonds are rocks. They're, they're just rocks. All diamonds. You obtained Zora's Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession, you don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones! Go back and see Princess Zelda. Hell yeah. Don't tell my father. Alright, that's a cool dungeon. Yeah, I'll see you on the silver lining. 